actually, you know that one idea we put in the TikTok? Like, what if this artist was on my song or something like this? Mm -hmm. I would do that for real. Yeah. Right? What if That's true. Drake was on my shit? Oh, you can hear it. What if Kendrick was on my shit? Oh, you can hear it. So I would do a bunch of those. Basically, um, open verse challenges. Yeah. Get one of those AI video things and make it look like, oh, shit. Like, J. Cole jumped on my open verse challenge. Here we go. Let's like, make it real. Let's brainstorm some, some promo AI ideas. Well, firstly, I am throwing... AI features on all my songs. On all your songs, okay. Uh, track A featuring Drake, track B featuring J. Cole, track C featuring whatever different artists I wanted to come uh, together. And, and I guess depending on my brand too, you know what I'm saying? Like what, what I kind of fall. But assuming I'm an artist, one, I'm putting, actually, you know that one idea we put in the TikTok shit, right? The um, what if this song was on my on my remix or what if this song artist was on my not, not song what if this artist was on my song or something like that mm -hmm. i would do that for real yeah right what if that's true drake was on my shit oh you can hear it what if kendra was on my shit oh you can hear it so i would do a bunch of those um basically um the challenges the open verse challenges yeah essentially yeah mm -hmm. maybe even work it in like that maybe try to get one of those ai video things and make it look like oh shit like J. Cole jumped on my open verse challenge. Here we go. Let's like, make it real. Yeah. Start the open verse challenge. Have a couple real rappers do it, but then have all of a sudden mm -hmm. some real, well, some AI people do it. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Um, maybe some type of AI artist mixtape. No. And I would throw myself on there to make it. That's exactly what yeah. I was thinking. Yeah. I was thinking about like a one train type song. Mm -hmm. What if Drake and Jay-Z or, you know, insert three artists mm -hmm. or whatever. We're all on the same song. Let people listen. And then you be like another artist and people like who this person. Mm -hmm. So, yep. Another yeah. one. I'll probably, I think you would do like a fan contest. And if I was an artist, right, let's say I had this one song and I would be like, Hey, which artist should I give this song to? And then maybe do like three different versions of three different artists doing my song. Right. So let's say it's like, Hey, I wrote this song. I'm thinking about giving it to Ice Spice, SZA, or like, Ruby Rose or something, mm -hmm. right? And then I would do the song, each of their voices, and then be like, hey, audience, which one should I, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, put out or something like that. Who should I give it to? Mm -hmm. Who won type of thing? I think right. that could be cool. Shoot, like um, if you got a, if you have a track that's like relationship based, like and I'm rapping or I'm singing and it's like talking mm -hmm. to the girl, mm -hmm. all right? And then I can use the AI to find a female artist to respond or yeah. vice versa, yeah. right? So they be a part of the conversation and it just be interesting because stuff like that, when you have the concept done well, people want to hear the call and response regardless, yeah. right? Just if it's done well and they're connected with the lyrics, the AI just grabs a little of the attention. So concepts, like bringing concepts in, into this AI is like the next level while people are still kind of just playing with it loosely for sure. Yeah, yeah. Like even I still think what this artist did, um, Connor Masur, the the, the, the the Drake AI cover. I still think that's probably like the best direct song promo thing. for a while. That's yeah. Gonna be, yeah, yeah, exactly. Until they they close that window, like you said mm -hmm. earlier, right? So it's like, man, I would literally be like, man, who are some artists in my demo? I'm about to just gonna make AI covers of my shit with all their voices and yep. put all these shits out on. Yep. I wonder if he has it on like YouTube or anything like that. Because like, it's not even that wild and it's, it's just simple. It's like, yeah, they're, they're just covering the song. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? It's not like the most, like to your point, like abstract thing to think that, oh, Drake could have did a cover of a, a song he heard that he liked. Mm -hmm. It happens, not with Drake, but it happens. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, oh, shit. But who does it happen with or could it happen with? Beyonce? Nah, she don't do that shit. Tyler Swift. Like if they do it, it's gonna be on some level that it benefits them or whatever. But I'm talking about J. Cole. He's been on this bag where I okay, yeah. I connect with the normal peasants, you know. I'm I'm kind of like one of y'all type of media run and hopping pulling up. I'm using the, the producer's beat, pulling up, I'm listening to the freestyle. Yeah, yeah. You can figure out some yeah. way anybody who has a J. Cole type of audience, how can I get J. Cole? And like position myself as the normal person, and J. Cole showed me some love. Yeah. Yeah. Right up his alley brand wise. People could believe it. This is this is what I'm saying. Yeah, that's probably the easier one too, because you know, we already used to artists doing shit like that because of that. What's that one site where you can like hire artists to say stuff for you, like send birthday messages and things? You know what I'm talking about? Um something with a C. Oh, Cameo. Cameo, right. Yeah. I think because of Cameo, like, you know, we already were pretty used to just hearing artists. Say shit that we ain't used to him. I mean, like it's not the weirdest thing that like 
you know, Oprah is like telling your niece happy birthday. It's not the weirdest mm-hmm. thing because of cameo. So I would do a bunch of stuff like that, you know, yeah. just like the guy, oh, yeah, the, the ice spice. That's true. Yeah. That's believable. Except <laughs> yeah. you just don't got to pay for it. Yeah. Like do yeah. like a, do like a phone call, you know, make it seem like the situation is, yo, do man. Like, do I, do I? I don't, did I do that? Because some of them, I'm sure they do so many cameos, they don't even remember. Exactly. Damn, <laughs> maybe I did tell Lil Harold his song is going to be Go Gold. I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. So I would do that. I will do a bunch of those, you know, uh, and just shoot them out and see what's believable. That's a threat to cameo now, I thought about it. Because the brand, not because people don't have to pay them, but because the idea that the AI exists make things so unbelievable and skeptical mm-hmm. in the marketplace. Now, if I did a real one, nobody's going to believe it. Well, Cameo, you get a video. So that's like their proof. And well, too, I'm saying, but we could do the AI well, videos. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And they're getting better. No, nah, like. <laughs> but I could tell an artist. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I was like, did you ever like make like a friend on like MySpace back in the day? And you make, they, they, they take a picture with like a piece of paper with their name on it or like a spoon or something. You tell them to do something. You never, nah. never made like an internet friend. You're like, hey bro, I need to know if you're real. You know what I'm saying? Like, put a spoon on your on your nose and like send me a picture. You ain't never did nothing like that, bro. That's what cameo that. gonna get, man. I know. <laughs> but I want to believe this is you, Drake. I really do. And it's gonna sound wild for me to ask you this, but I need you to put a piece of paper on your head and send me a picture of that piece of paper on your head. <laughs> and they gonna have to do it. <laughs> that hey, that will be interesting. It's gonna be real life capture, like real life bot detection. Hey, that'd be funny. Yeah. <laughs> that'd be funny as hell. <laughs> Oh, man, that's why you said real life capture. Because when I would <laughs> talk about like the have multiple artists do a verse, mm-hmm. and then you slide in one of those verses on the song, mm-hmm. made me think about that being a musical version of Instagram carousels, where you just slide your promo posts in between other people's promo posts. Yeah, basically, it's all the same yeah, thing. Basically. Yo, now what would be crazy? Talk about J Cole, because again, just because he's the most believable and being on the. Uh, I'm normal and messing with normal people. Um, media run. If he or any big artist flipped it and they did AI of a smaller artist's voice and they put it on their song, that'd be interesting. That it would be because I would feel bad for the small artists. I'm like, damn, like, why didn't you just come get me? Right. I could have been available. But it'll still give them clout. Yeah. And then the uproar yeah. around it would be probably even bigger than the initial thing. Yeah. Like, if I really just got you, it's like when 50 Cent was, like, talking shit about Chameleon Air, and Chameleon Air was like, bro, I could have sworn we were cool. I just talked to Buddy. But it was just weird to him. And then he was like, next time I saw 50, he was like, yo, like, what's up? He good? Like, 50 was like, yo, man, I threw, I threw you an alley-oop. Like, you were supposed to take that. And he was like, man, this man's crazy. Because 50 Cent was basically, no, bro, I was starting a beef. Yeah. And I like you. So I started a beef <laughs> just so you could beef back and get more visibility for yourself. <laughs> that was a moment for you. Yeah. Right? Like, it's, it's that type of thing. Like, so, hey, man, I'm going a, I'm to a throw you this moment. Creator of or around you. I'm not, I did not reach out to you because I wanted to do you wrong. I didn't reach out to you because I wanted to do you right. Which I'm, sounds like some, like, some player shit <laughs> that yeah. someone would try in the verse. But, yeah, it would get me. I will fall for it. You, <laughs> you know, at least, at least the first time I will fall for it. For at least the first yeah. time, because I'll be confused. Like I would still be like, "Damn, I get it, Cole," but yeah, why? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, but again, this, it would be an interesting promo idea for even a big artist to kind of flip something like that yeah. and expect it and use it in a way. Quick second, have you ever seen an artist catch some traction and then they start to move, the numbers start to grow, they might even go viral, but then fast forward a year from now, somehow their numbers haven't really grown that much, they drop back close to the same monthly listeners they had before the traction and viral moment. Well, that's because you have to know how to convert those moments into careers. And we've done this again and again with not only songs, but artists. And so has J.R. McKee, who's been a part of helping artists like Lil Durk, Rod Wave, Justine Sky, and Money Long. And we just did a collab where J.R. McKee does a step-by-step breakdown of how he took Money Long from zero to millions of monthly listeners and winning a Grammy over Beyonce, Mary J. Blige, and Jasmine Sullivan. Check out this breakdown while we still have it up. You can check it out at www dot brandmannetwork.com slash Grammy. Don't forget the www or it won't work. Again, that's www.brandmannetwork.com slash Grammy. Back to the video. 
because it's all you know we can we can never say enough this whole game is relative right like moves matter differently and have a different impact when you're in different places when you're smaller you're usually trying to look larger mm-hmm. when you're larger you try to normalize yourself mm-hmm. With normal behavior, yeah, coming down from the clouds and blessing people with your presence because you're one of them. That's the type of yeah. like things. Like again, that's why literally the Oscars and, and these a lot of these shows have the comedians making fun of them so they can appear normal and that like they have sense of humor. Uh, you know, that didn't go too well, you know, on some of these shows, but so <laughs> but like that's <laughs> that's the thing. Or if we go with the zero to one perspective so peter till wrote this book called zero to one he was one of the paypal mafia and one of the primary concepts he talked about is those people who do not have a monopoly which would be the smaller artists in the example try to appear as if they have a monopoly boy do we see that right always trying to differentiate yourself he usually uses restaurants oh i have the only chicago pizza joint in town but it's still pizza, yeah. right? And you know, I got the only New York pizza in town, Jersey or or whatever, whatever. And then also you're still moving in the category of food because people only eat so much food, right? But then if you're a monopoly, the big artist, you're trying to make yourself this does this this falls apart a little bit with artists in some ways, because artists don't want to try to make themselves seem smaller, but they do want to make themselves seem more normal, right? Mm-hmm. In, in in example, strategically, strategically, I want you to think at times that I'm more normal. A monopoly, Google, Facebook, YouTube, these massive companies. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, we don't have a monopoly. You know, I'm Alphabet. I'm not just Google. Google's just one part of my business, right? We don't own. But the argument is, oh well, no, Google, you have a massive monopoly on search engines, like that whole type of thing. Like so, the the big usually tries to appear more normal. They appear more smaller. The small try to appear bigger. So these strategies apply the same way conceptually. There's some things that you can do now, and then, but then when you get bigger, you just flip it. And then it's going to move different, which is why y'all should stop watching these big artist promo strategies. Be inspired by them. Love them. You know, appreciate them. But don't think that you're going to apply them yourself the next day and get anywhere near the same results. Yeah. All right. Now, you got any more AI, like gold for us to drop or anything? Like anything on the AI promo that you've seen personally yet? No. No? No, not really. Nothing. Yeah, nothing with this. Okay. Yeah. Well, I would love to see the AI ideas from our community, man. Like we, we've seen some really cool shit in, in other types of promo. But like, you know, this AI what always is, ha- is happening. I want to see somebody do something. And then maybe we can highlight the idea on a pod or something like that. You know, y'all come up with something. Actually, I do have one more. Uh, what's that? I would make an AI voice thing of a popular media personality rating or ranking my music. Yes. Charlemagne, needle drop guy, Joe mm. Budden. Yes. Yes. An AI of someone, especially that, right? An AI of somebody who's already doing that. Mm-hmm. All right. So yeah, needle drop, Anthony Fantano or whatever. That's his name, yeah. So, somebody who's in your category. Ac- a- academics. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do the AI and then get that posted somewhere. And then people never know. And I would try to do that as real as possible, where people just don't think it. Academics wouldn't even notice immediately because it probably wouldn't go viral enough immediately. That's and, what I'm and then you yeah. catch it. And the right personality of academics will respond back to it. So you exactly. know exactly. Exactly. You start some boosts, you're gonna go back and forth and, and beef with you, give you a little bit more attention. <laughs> so academics will be a good good demographic. Or you could like, I mean, you could just even just do it for yourself and then run an ad. <laughs> yeah. And do well. Yeah. We we look, we've seen what a quick 5K in in 14 days would do. Same, man. All I need is that boost. You never have to know. You never have to know. <laughs> be in and out before it start catching on, man. Be turning the ads off the day people get mad about it. Uh, people start saying, you know, you know, man, I've been a fan since you did that, uh, like, since I saw that video with Jay-Z talking about your, your song or whatever. You got to be like, whoa, what are you talking about, sir? That never happened. Me? Yeah, I don't know what you mean, but I'm glad you made it here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you found me. I don't remember that happening. So you got <laughs> had these strategies that, hey, the rest of the world don't have to find out about, but just, which is <sighs> getting into more of the, the black hat strategies and stuff is one of the things that's kind of beneficial about 
the internet being so big, there are some things that you can do just to get you 30% there real quick and cheap and then make sure you wipe the wipe the table off. Yeah, you bro. know what I mean? Bro, the, the internet is literally like like those sci-fi movies where the portal is closing and everybody's trying to get out before That's it right. closes. It's like somebody gets through and then it just closes behind everybody else. That's when all the rules and regulations get kicked in. It's like, oh, sorry guys, you know what I'm saying? You should've, should've ran through a little bit yeah. faster before this shit got checked. That's, yeah. how, that's how I think about all this shit. Like, and then it's just a bunch of people racing, racing towards the portal to use it as best as they can. We yeah. probably made it worse with this episode. But a bunch of people running towards the portal, yeah. trying to figure out how to use it before it closes behind them and shuts everybody off. Yeah. <laughs> well. well. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely added to the fire. But shoot, that's part of the race. I mean, I'm I'm here for it. Man. Yeah. You know, we only benefit from this. We don't really lose. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs>